In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Knott's Scary Farm construction updates as well as predict what do we expect to come and what is returning. All this and more. Join me, Logan, and Jessica as we break down this Knott's footage. Hey guys, Logan from the Knights of Horror over here. We're back at Knott's Berry Farm. Uh, today we're going to be uh, trying to find some not scary farm uh, construction updates. Uh, this is my fiance, fiance Jessica, and uh, we're coming up on our first uh, update here. Let's we'll see if there's any scary farm stuff still in the back lot. Okay, so as you guys can see, we still have the lighthouse up. I forgot the name of the maze. Uh, the depths, I think, is what it's called. So stuff is still up, so nothing really new there, but yeah, pretty cool. So after the depth, Logan moved over a little bit and took this picture of Paranormal Inc. This was a picture that he got of the facade. It's looking like a lot of the back lot stuff is still the same um, since they brought it out for like the tasting event. Um, so a lot hasn't progressed back here. We know that these are soundstage mazes. There's a total of four back here. We got Waxworks, The Depths, Paranormal Inc., and uh, dark entities um, so there's a total of four back here all in sound stages so not much to really report other than if there's any outside facades that they've updated nor or got ready so uh, until then though we'll keep you guys updated to see if we see anything new related to these mazes from what we can see all right so we got the entrance uh, to the origins maze which I absolutely loved in 2019 can't wait to see it back obviously there's nothing uh, new going on over here, or at least that we can see. Maybe there's something inside, but uh, nope, nothing outside, of course. So anyways, we'll go to the next one. So this is where Special Ops Infected is. Um, this is actually right now a relax zone at Knott's. So if you just want to relax with your mask off, you can be socially distanced and sit in on these little blocks and hang out. Yeah, so usually the line, of course, goes through there to those doors, and obviously we can't see anything, but uh, Special Ops, I believe, is done. There's no more Special Ops. Uh, now it's going to be rethemed. Uh, any guesses, go ahead and comment below. Um, I'm hoping for something pretty cool, maybe like an alien survival thing. Shooting up aliens could be kind of cool, um, or shooting up werewolves or vampires. I don't know, something would be, something like that would be cool. So in these next two things of footage, obviously we got the uh, front facade of Origins, which was probably my favorite maze in 2019. Phenomenal work, a true love story to the Origins of Ghost Town and the, and the Witch, and I was just in love with that. The whole Sarah Marshall storyline, everything was really good. Um, we can expect that to hopefully come back this season. Uh, that was probably one of their bigger hitters, and I remember that and... Um, Special Ops Infected always had extremely long lines. They even had to extend the queue at some points uh, with Origins throughout Ghost Town and with you know Special Ops down more by um, the Charles M. Schultz Theater. Uh, moving on to the Special Ops though, uh, you know Logan did mention he wanted to see some aliens and potentially even using the same uh, technology of, of the guns to you know shoot aliens or werewolves and something. I personally would love to see another werewolf vampire maze. Um, be be really cool. Um, but I also want something that ties into the story of Origins, um, which there's something I want to talk about a little bit later that I have a, a, a no fan theory about of what the new Shadowlands location will be. So let's move on to that uh, area. All right, so this is where Dark Ride is located. Obviously not going to get anything from inside there, but uh, I heard it is coming back. Uh, maybe for one more year, maybe two more years if we're lucky. But looking forward to seeing that one returning again, uh, hopefully this fall. Now Logan goes on to talk about Dark Ride, obviously uh, we're hoping that returns for at least, like he said, one or two more years. Uh, it's personally one of my favorites, especially when they added the new gift shop in the security room this uh, in 2019, their last season that they did. I think it was a good touch for the maze, a good kind of um, update for the maze to change a room here or two. And they usually do that with mazes that stay more than uh, like you know three or four years. They, they like to give new stuff in the maze so you can go and see it and it's almost like a new experience again. Um, now moving on to where Shadowlands used to be, uh, we got to see a picture from uh, the Knots Network, so shout out to him, and here's a picture on the screen now. Uh, he took the Sky Tower, and you can oversee the new maze, uh, what looks like red and white stripes. Uh, to me, that kind of symbolizes a circus, so are we going to finally get the origins of Carnival to tie into the origin storyline of Sarah Marshall? Uh, maybe when her curse went off, something happened with Carnival, um, so are we going to get the origin story of that? 
I sure as hope so. Um, but we'll keep you guys updated for what we can get footage wise so we can uh, start breaking this down as the event gets closer. I personally think a origin story to Carnival though would be amazing. All right, so this is where the entrance to Pumpkin Eater starts. Obviously, uh, the outside of that is pretty much the parking lot. So there's nothing up right now. It's still too early for that. But I believe that it's got another year on it and then it'll be something else. But I'm excited for that one to come. I know that one gets kind of some hate, but I, I enjoy that one. But anyways, that was it for us, guys. That was, uh, that was it for our Knott's trip and our construction updates. Um, there is a new maze being constructed over uh, behind Accelerator. Uh, unfortunately, the train was down today, and I, so I wanted to take the train to get back there and see. Uh, and unfortunately, it was down, so I couldn't get back there. And uh, Sky Cabin, I think if you go on that, then you can kind of see it. But the line was about a 45 minute wait. I just wasn't worth it to me anyways. But um, down below, um, we're gonna insert a uh, picture that someone took on top of Sky Cabin of that maze. Um, not sure what it's gonna be, uh, and I, I'm sorry I forgot who uh, who actually took that photo. So well, as soon as I find out, we will give him credit, him or her. Um, but uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm excited for haunt season. Uh, why don't you comment below and tell me what your favorite not scary farm maze is? All right, guys, take care. The last location Logan goes and visits is the Pumpkin Eater Maze, which is located in the Hollow, which is Camp Snoopy. Uh, and he said, you know, it's still parking lot, so they're gonna, you know, when it's come time getting closer, they'll, they'll open up that entrance for, of course, the facade and everything. But that's looking like it's gonna do it right now for the Knott's construction. We want to keep you guys informed as much as possible with as many haunts as we can. Um, Halloween Horror Nights, we got construction rolling out with Will, and uh, Logan will be our Knott's guy, and maybe I can convince Rob to be our Six Flags guy. So we'll have hopefully construction updates for everything very soon but uh stay tuned we're gonna have way more knots construction as the time gets closer too we'll be making uh more knots trips i'm planning on getting a pass i know logan has a pass so uh we're gonna be making more knots trips and uh more universal studios trips so stay tuned for more construction updates we love each and every one of you and we'll see you guys next time you're moving into a dimension of mind